Hello, my friends, and welcome to my video showing the case mod that I did from an earlier video. It was actually a message from one of you guys that decided to do uh, a modding on their own, but the mod they wanted to do was actually flip the case with the I.O. facing upwards. So I must say this has been a total success. Why is this a total success? Is because, see this door over here? This whole computer, a full ATX size computer, fits underneath this door and does not make noise in my bedroom. This is a GTX uh, 27, RTX 2070, T, uh, not 2070 Super. Uh, this is a 12S. That's 32 gigs of RAM, 3950X in here. These are the LED blue Maglev Corsair fans. This is the titanium 800 watt Silverstone uh, ITX uh, supply. And what I find with this mod specifically is, see these over here? In a previous video, what I did was I drilled through this case and it created really, really jagged edges. So what I did was I put metal foil tape um, around so that it doesn't hurt me. And these are completely raw things. I also left the case off because apparently all the tests that I've seen with cases is that the cases with the open, uh, open um, window uh, with no side, side panel get the coolest temperatures. So I figured why not? I have a 3950X, um, dust is like, it's, it's hard for the dust to get up here. This is how I attached it. These are six, six inch um, V-shape, v, V1s, v uh, things where I put a bunch of screws in the wall. There's a, a backup, highly recommended. This is a QNAP SFP Plus 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet port. Uh, so what? why I upgraded to this PC also you see over here, this wire over here, that's an SFP plus a 10 gigabit ethernet. What I've been finding is that there's less latency with this. And over here, these you see these four wires coming out. These are three display port cables and one HDMI cable, and these are fiber optic. The only way to stretch out uh, display port signal over 30 feet or 40 feet is um, I found with fiber optic. There's fiber optic cables out there, and it's fantastic in uh, my main, uh, my main setup is like this. So what are my takeaways with this setup? I love this cooler. So this cooler apparently has the quietest, most efficient um, cooling capacity. And what happens is that it creates a whole tunnel flow through here. What you feel over here is a really, really, really heavy wind force with all this fresh air coming in this way and doing that. I also made a hole on the bottom here, but I realized without the case feet on, which I might put on later, maybe put on a third fan, um, that this third fan was a waste. The exhaust fan, I guess, is more important because you're getting that fresh air in here and for, for uh, exhausting over here. This, uh, the, the airflow is absolutely stunning. Also up here, it's pretty stunning too. I also put this video card in a higher slot because of the cable that I had, I'm going to replace it later with uh, one of these armored ones, SFP plus cables. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a networking video regarding um, SFP plus fiber optic uh, 10 gigabit n networking. I know Linus did a 10 gigabit networking, but he used the standard ethernet ports. But what's cool about this guy is that you have standard ethernet ports and you have 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. So th this guy is an ultimate mix of the things. This is a hidden gem. This, like, this guy does have a lot of fans, but I think it's really cool. Uh, this is a server rack type of wall mounting solution uh, to mount it to the wall. So I personally like keeping my computer on all the time and I wanna be able to sleep. So this is, this is the setup I have. Also, I replaced the board. The board, this board I really love. This is the Asus board. The only one that I found that has all ports uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2. What does that mean? That means that all ports are 10 gigabit. What does that mean? 
Basically put is that I don't have to worry about which port I plug into. I always have the fastest port, USB port possible that I can plug devices into. So I don't have to worry about the USB 2.0s. I don't even understand why they put 2.0 ports on there. Also, this guy has 2.5 gigabit ethernet. There's uh, two, uh, two ethernet ports in here. There's a uh, 2.5 gigabit and a uh, uh, one gigabit. I think they should have went straight for five gigabit, but whatever, it's fine. So this is the SFP plus cable. The um, basically copper, copper version. The, these are usually made for servers, but the more you figure it out, the more easy they, they become to use. So this is the follow up video to uh, one of my subscribers that wanted to ask this question. This is my setup. It's the way I set it up. Um, I absolutely love it. It works great. And I hope you enjoyed it. So give it a nice big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.